this video, we are going to demonstrate how to order a press book through McKenna Easy Order. We will be creating a hinged book. However, the same process is used when ordering any of our press books. Hinged press books may be created with 12 to 40 sides. Other press books have a range of 20 to 80 sides. If you have not previously downloaded McKenna Easy Order, you may do that from our website at www.mckennapro.com. Once you have downloaded our software, you will have a shortcut on your desktop. The icon is a white M in a blue box. Double click on this icon to launch the software. After launching McKenna Easy Order, navigate to the Order Print screen and choose the Press Books catalog. On the Press Books information page, you will see a link to download Photoshop templates. These templates will give you the correct size if you would like to create your own page designs for your book. Click on the Hinged Product tab. From here, we will choose a book size. We are going to make an 8 by 10 and a half hinged book. Click on that. This will load the product in the workspace. You will notice there is a new pane above the workspace. When the Stacked Pages icon is selected, you can see cover options. When the open book icon is selected, you can see thumbnails of your pages that can be moved to change their position in the book. These books have three cover choices. We are going to choose the leather bound cover. To choose this cover, drag and drop it into the workspace. In the options panel, you will find leather colors to choose from. Simply click on an option to select it and you will see the change in the workspace. Now we will place in our cover photo. To do this, just drag and drop an image into the workspace and readjust it to your liking. Part of the image is grayed out. This is the wrap portion of the cover. Your image will fill the entire space. However, anything in the wrap area will wrap around or possibly be cut off. Keep this in mind when placing your image. You will not want any important text or image elements on the wrap portion. For this cover option, you will also need to place an image for the back cover. Now, let's go on to the inside pages. To navigate between pages of the book, go directly below the workspace and click on the arrows on each side of the page numbers. The front, inside left, and first half page vary from the rest of the book pages. For the front, inside left, you have an option of black or white end leaves. To choose one, click and drag the color of your choice into the workspace. For the first half page, you have the option of a white or black fill color or an image. Please note that the red border indicates a quarter inch safe line or bleed around the page, so you will not want any important elements here. This is a trim area. For the first half page and the rest of the pages, you are able to create your own template or place an image directly onto the blank page. To create your own template, you will use the pager tools found in the top left area of the workspace. The grid control gives you the option to have a grid overlay the template and have new nodes snap to the grid. This tool aids in alignment and can be turned on or off and edited to have a smaller or larger spaced grid. We recommend using this tool when creating your own templates. The crosshair is called the draw tool. The draw tool is used to draw an image node. After drawing a node, you are ready to place an image into it. The nodes themselves also have many more customizable options. Click on the node and these options will appear. The top row gives you the option to lock the image node. Beside that is the crop control and then the rotation controls. The first two options in the bottom row are used to move the node up or down a layer in the template. Next are the stroke options, and then the fill options. Then opacity and shadow preferences. The crosshair with the T in it is the draw text tool. Use this tool to draw a text node. Then select it to change the text, font, and color. The 
font size will change depending on the size of the text node and how much text you enter into it. To move and resize the nodes, use the Edit tool. It is a blue every way arrow. To move the images within the nodes, use the Image tool. It looks like a grabbing hand. To remove a node, simply click on the node using the Edit tool and then select Cut, and then click OK. To zoom in on a node, double click on the node and then again to zoom back out. This tool is the Node Montage tool. Click on this and options will appear to create a montage or collage. You can change the sizing, spacing, rotation, and more to make your montage unique. The splash looking icon is the background tool. Here you can choose a background for your template or montage you've created that is not an image you have in easy order. If you place a background in and do not see it, try selecting the image currently placed in the product and pressing delete. If you would like more background options, you may go to the Integrity Album Catalog and click Download Backgrounds. You can add a spread before or after any full spread in the book. To do this, press the rectangle with an arrow around it beside the page turn buttons. This will add a spread. A spread is two pages. To add one before the current page, press the Add Page button on the left. And to add one after the current page, press the Add Page button on the right. If you want to delete a spread after adding it, you will press the minus symbol in the bottom left corner of the page turning bar. All the way to the right, there is a refresh symbol. If you press that, you can reset the pages completely or just remove all of the images. The reset button in the bottom left of the workspace resets the template for the page you are currently on, not all the pages. In Pressbooks, there are two single pages rather than a spread. To make an image span both pages, size the image the size of both pages. This size is available on the front inside left page. For the 8 by 10 and a half book, you will size the image to be 16.125 by 10.75 or use the Photoshop template with the corresponding book size and type with the word spread after it. When placing your image, place it in both sides. Then pull the left side all the way to the right and the right side all the way to the left. The images should line up and look like one large image. Now I'm going to finish my book When you're done placing all of your images and creating your templates, press Add to Cart. In the cart, under Options, you will see Glossy UV Coating, difficult to write on. If you would like to use this book as a guest book, do not check this option. The UV Coating is a no-charge option. If you want to save your book templates for a future order, create a favorite by returning to the workspace and adding a favorite. If you want to save the exact book with images and all, save the cart for later from the cart screen. This will take the item to the Send Saved tab where it can later be reopened and sent. But also, keep it in your cart so you can order it now. We hope this video has provided you with new skills to create a press book with ease.